Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's take a look at what's new in Safari 6. So the Safari 6 update happened for everybody that went to Mount Line, but also those that stayed with earlier versions of Mac OS 10. They got upgraded to Safari 6 last week. Now, Safari 6 has some major changes over previous versions. Let's take a look. So the biggest change is that there's no longer two fields at the top of Safari. There used to be an address field and you can enter URLs like macmost.com and a search field where you can enter a search term like Mac Video Tutorials. Now there's just one field and the field is a smart field that knows the difference between a URL and a search term. So for instance if I were to type in macmost dot com it knows that it's URL and it go directly to that page. If I were to type in a series of words it knows that I'm typing in a search term. There's no dot com there. It doesn't look like a URL. So you end up with uh, a search results from the search engine that you've selected inside Safari Preferences. and You can set that right here. Now this brings up the question what happens if you want to search for a URL as a search term. Something developers do from time to time. Well, you can just simply go to your favorite search engine like Google and use their search field at the top of the screen. So you still have the ability to be able to do that. Now, one big feature that's missing from Safari that's been taken away is the ability to read RSS feeds. RSS feeds are syndicated news feeds that feature the latest blog posts and stories from a website. And you used to be able to see a button up here that said RSS and click on it and read the feed or actually access it and then maybe add it to uh, another program. And you can still do that. You can still use third party apps to access RSS. It's just no longer supported in either Safari or in Mail in Mountain Lion as well. So Apple's just removing support for RSS. I guess they determined it wasn't used enough for them to continue. Uh, adding it to those two pieces of software. What we do have is improved functionality for the reading list. So you click on reading list here and you can add a page to it as before. Well, one of the things that you've got now is it saves it for offline reading. You saw it saying it right there. So if you're using a MacBook and then you go out of the house and you don't have a connection you should be able to select it and it will load the page up saved in the cache uh, even if you're not connected. In the Safari Preferences we have a great improvement here because we've got the ability to view all of the passwords that have been saved for various sites. So you could see the username and password saved for sites that you visited and you can edit them and delete them if you want. Like with other updates to Safari we get an improvement in the JavaScript engine. JavaScript is the scripting engine that runs all the different web pages. So all the interactive functionality you get on web pages whether it's just a page of banking information, uh, news, or an interactive game like this one that runs using the browser's own JavaScript engine. It's all improved now and should be a little bit faster. So you can see improved performance as well as improved improved graphics performance uh, using Safari 6 over earlier versions. Now if you're using Mountain Lion you have a few extras. Like for instance if I have several tabs open I can use a gesture. I can pinch inward and then I can get to see uh, my tabs in this different format here and I can scroll between them using a two finger back and forth gesture and select the one I want. Now in Mountain Line, if you look in the Safari Preferences you'll notice there's a whole new section for notifications because there's new functionality that allows websites to send you notifications. And they have to ask your permission of course and this is where it would list that. But a website that you visit all the time could theoretically send you a notification when there's new content or something has changed on the page. There's also a cool feature for Mountain Line users. There's a iCloud button at the top and if you have tabs open on another Mac then you can use that button to see those URLs for those tabs. So for instance say you have your desktop Mac and you're looking at three different tabs there. You switch to your laptop, you open up Safari, you can use that button and see the URLs in those three tabs and jump right to them. And when iOS 6 comes out that will also work across iOS devices. So you could be viewing something on your iPad and then go to your Mac and use that iCloud button to quickly jump to it. So here's a quick look at what's available in Safari 6. If you have Lion you get it through Safari Update. When you upgrade to Mountain Lion you automatically get Safari 6. Hope you found this useful. Till next time this is Gary with MacMost Now.
Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the Videos link at the top of the page and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.